hell, everybody. I ran out of battery here when I started doing the cultivating. I just went and got some gas. So, uh, anyway, I got, uh, I got a couple more rows to do, so this little girl don't steal like the other ones. But anyway, we'll go down back in. We'll do the last couple rows. The old girl's warmed up, runs pretty good. So, hope you enjoy here a little ride in the John Deere. chose just to uh whoop, let's get ink at the camera very good here uh, yeah they just chose to not put the stuff in if it had steel it couldn't go that fast so no need to be wasting surplus steel so yeah so girl idol's good was warmed up So, anyway, I'll show you what we actually did here. It's, it's hard to see because I got them back cultivators still on. They're a pain to take on and off, so I just leave them on. But I can see where I need to go. Um, <clears throat> when we plant our potatoes, what we'll do, we got a lot of furrows here from the back too, but the biggest ones, you know, is this one right here. And over 42 inches is another big one. 
and you come over and there's another big one. So you just have to pay attention. You look down across so you can see where the big ones are. So we're gonna plant them with potatoes. I don't know if I needed the last one or not, but if we end up with enough potatoes to get over to here, I wanted to have my last row marked so that I could go on. But we only got, uh, I don't know, if it's a 50 pound bag. It's whatever they sell for bags. I don't know if it's 50. It doesn't feel that heavy. It's probably, probably not. I don't, I don't really know what the weight is. But anyway, I'll, uh, I'll show you in the barn here in a sec. Aficionados. It's a red Pontiac certified main seed potato and uh, came from Brad Street Family Farm in Bridgewater, Maine. So, anyway, we, uh, yeah, I don't say how many pounds it is, but yeah, it's 50 pounds. Yeah, it's 50 pound bag. So, anyway. I'm not gonna bore you too much here. So anyway, what I need to do, and see all these eyes, as long as you have one eye on that potato, it'll grow a hill of potatoes. And these things got eyes galore, so, but you don't want too small pieces either, because they have to get the energy to get up through the soil out of the uh it's easier on a table but anyway you know i'll go and chunk that through there chunk that through there we've got an eye that one's only got one eye so anyway that's the whole thing you know we went from making one hill to making five hills and pretty simple some of you people might never have grown potatoes before you know you uh, yeah I take more time than what most people would I figure out anyway that's what I'm gonna be doing here for the next half hour it's beautiful sitting here in the Sun and uh, it's only about 51 degrees out and there's a little bit of a breeze but I'm going to take my shirt off here, but I'll tell you, once you get out of the wind, it's warm sitting right here in the shop. And uh, that steam engine makes a good coat rack, I guess. So anyway, bring you back when we're getting ready to do something different. Well, I, I just got off the phone with a friend of mine. I, I kept wondering there about picking these potatoes in the fall. I don't have a potato digger. And uh, <laughs> I called up my friend Ducky there, and he's got a nice PTO-driven one. It ain't been used for about 10, 15 years, but it's, it's still a pretty nice one. And uh, I, he wants an old tractor I got. And uh, anyway, I, I asked him, I said, what's the deal on this thing? <laughs> so we came to an agreement there. We're going to do a swap. Huh, look at that. Rotten center in that potato. So that's going to be nice in the fall. I'll have a potato digger, and uh, which will make me real happy. Because boy, I'll tell you, nothing any worse than getting out there with a potato digger, a hand one, and uh, sitting there pulling up rows of potatoes. Now, that's how I've always done it. But it'd be nice to have a potato digger. 
Yeah, these are cutting up pretty nice here. I'm down probably a quarter of the way of the bag, maybe. And uh, they got machines that do this. And uh, you know, I guess if you it was a big operation where like you had to do tons of them, then I can see why you would want a machine. But for here on the farm, me and the wife there, yeah, we'll just we'll just cut away. Plan them. It'll be all good. Um, I was going to, there was a story I was going to tell you and I can't remember what it is. Anyway, I'm going to shut you off because I can't remember. It was something I was going to, when I turn the camera back on early ice, I'll tell them, tell you guys something interesting then. Darn if I can remember it. Anyway, so I just thought I'd tell you about that potato digger there. So sometime here in the next month or two, we'll be getting a potato digger. When it shows up, I'll, I'll get a little video of it. Well, everybody. I've been peeling for about a half hour. It's been intermittent to say the least. I about got a bucket full here. And uh, I went over this morning to get some steel. We're going to make an elevator for upstairs in the barn. Because we put about a ton of stuff up there every year. It's not a, an awful lot of, you know, material. But um, me and the wife, you know... It's up and down the stairs to get it up there. So I went and bought basically a hundred feet of two by two box tube, and I'm gonna make a just a small electric hoist to go up overhead. When I went and got that, I got me a moxie. And for those of you who are not from this area, mainly Maine, New Hampshire, you know. They might have it in other parts of the country, but I, you know, it's, it was originally invented in Maine. And that's kind of where you find it. It's my favorite soda, but there's other people. I normally don't drink it because uh, mother don't really approve. But it's kind of one of those things that, you know, once a month or so, I just, I just go ahead and get one. And, uh, you know, she sees it here. I'll get the look. You know, not her being nasty or nothing. It's just her saying, you know, I'm worried about you. Don't want you to have that stuff, you know. So I get it. And I don't complain when she gives me the look. I usually usually kind of uh, pay attention because, <laughs> you know, she's got her best interest and my best interest in it. So it's kind of funny how that works. But I, I broke down today and got one. So, uh, always get a phone call. Well, in case you're curious, that right there, that's a five-gallon pail. And probably if the other one was a five-gallon pail, we would have filled that one. It was a short pail. So basically two five-gallon pails, which I don't think is too bad. Um, I don't know how many pieces. I didn't count. But it uh, be interesting to see how many feet of row we get out of it. I'll uh, bring you back when we're getting ready to plant. Well, everybody, we've been... Uh, taking care of them potatoes all afternoon doing other stuff too but it's been an all-day thing you know off and on but I came out here and I put them in the ground in the furrows that I made which I believe you guys saw earlier and uh, anyway I dropped them in every eight ten inches I'll show you what they look like here I've done two rows already as far as back filling and uh, but anyway, you can see, you know, there's probably more, there's, you know, about 10, some of them are 8, some of them might be a foot back. I ended up getting uh, 800 feet a row, which is actually about what I wanted. I figured I'd get four rows, and I was about 8 feet shy or so on the last row. Pretty close, but I'll, uh, What's this thing? I'm going to do it in first gear. I was doing it in second when I got both hands on the wheel, but we'll do it in first here because I don't know. I keep it steering very really good. Big rock. 
stopped right there, we just went over. Works better if you go a little faster. When I was in second gear, done a real nice job. Just kind of threw it right over the potatoes. But we're doing all right. we've been doing it. It uh, works pretty good. Just one more trip up and I'll have it done for the day. thought I'd tell you an interesting thing here. Of course, when I brought it out this morning, it was backed in. That was because it was winter time. Now it's summertime, I can drive it in, which is a lot easier. Um, I can drive any of them in here now, because the reason is I don't want the sun on the tires. That's the whole deal. And in the winter time, of course, up here in Maine, that, uh, that old backhoe, that tree right there, that's that sun will be down below the top of that tree up here in Maine. I mean, it's over there at a heck of an angle. So we back stuff in. And when we do that, it's still going to get sunlight all the way to the back of the building. But it's not so much of it. You know, in other words, there might be two months where it's down that low and then it comes back. So they don't get exposed to as much sunlight. This time of year here... If I drive it in, that'll never get hit with sun tomorrow. I don't think, anyway. If it does, it'll only be for a week or so. So, you know, that's why we change things around here. I try to keep the sunlight off the tires. Anyway, I gotta go get a hoe. So, yeah. Anyway, hope you folks enjoyed. And uh, if you did, you know, and you wanna see more content, you know, don't be afraid to hit the subscribe button. And, uh, you know, hit the like button, too, if you like it. And uh, if you got a question about anything, I'll try to answer it. If I got the answer, I may not have, and if I don't, I'll tell you so. Um, I won't lie to you. That's you know that's something I don't believe in. If you don't really know for sure, I don't don't tell over much crap. Oh, turkey's a goblin. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed. Talk to you later. <laughs>